Hey guys, I wanted to take a few minutes and encourage you to do this one thing that you'll never regret. Man in the country that I know, no money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times are hard in Mississippi. What's up, guys? Um, I want to make a little video today, something a little different than what I normally do. Usually we're fixing on a truck or showing you guys some pointers or tips on working on some old junky trucks. We're talking about some tools. Um, I recently did a video for Hard Knocks on my most sentimental tool. And I got a lot of positive influence back on that. And that's the whole purpose of this video today. Thankfully, I had this opportunity to do this with my dad before he passed away, and I wanna encourage each one of you guys, if your parents are still living, um, take just a minute and follow this advice. If you never listen to anything I say, this is gonna be one thing that I wish you would really do. I did it, it worked out great for me, and it's something that I'm extremely proud that I did because a lot of people wait till it's too late. Um, as you know, this time last year, um, my dad checked himself into a nursing home. Well, he went to the hospital first and they put him in a nursing home. He had Alzheimer's and he was, he was pretty bad. He actually came to my office that day and talked to me. We talked for about two hours, I guess. And he left here and drove himself to the, to the hospital and checked himself in. And, um, Anyway, just prior to that, it was just a few days prior to him doing that. It was about this time last year. He, uh, he come to my office and sat down and we was just hanging out, talking, shooting the crap, whatever. Anyway, I wrote my dad a letter a couple of days before that. <clears throat> and I want to share that letter with you guys. And I took a picture of him while he was sitting on my couch in my office reading it. And, uh, you know, I want to encourage you guys to do that. It only takes a few minutes to talk to your dad, you know, and, and it's something you need to do before they, they go on. But like I say, I lost my dad this 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 year, February the 11th. And, uh, you know, this time is about the time that, you know, the last time I really got to hang out with him before he went to the, to the uh, nursing home and hospital and stuff. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show a picture of the letter. I've got it here and I'll, I'll screenshot it in where you guys can look at it. And I'll also try to read through the letter. Um, if I can't read through the letter on a voiceover, I may get shy shy to do it for me because it's, it's pretty tough for me to talk about. But um, please take the time to talk to your dad or you know your grandfather or, or anybody that's been inf influential in your life. Just just take that five minutes. So we'll show you the letter and let you guys hear. I just wanted to tell you thank you for all the good times that we've had together and all the things that you've taught me how to do. You have been a great father to me, much more of a father than anyone not blood related could ever ask for. You've taught me many things and many lessons that I will always be thankful for. You taught me how to shave and how aftershave feels, how to work on stuff and what tools to use. You taught me how to drive, change oil, hook to a trailer, and how to back a trailer. But most importantly, you taught me how to be a man. You taught me to stand up for myself and not get run over. You taught me to stand up for what I believed in. You have been a very important person in my life. You helped me to make good choices, even when I may not have wanted to make them because everyone else was doing something different at the time. The list of things are countless you have taught me, like how to tie a fish hook on, how to build a trot line, how to run a boat, how to hold a fish, how to clean a fish, wash a car, water sand a car and get it ready to go to paint, change light bulbs, batteries, and many, many other things in a car that a guy should know. How to trim tree limbs, mow grass, take care of a lawnmower, the list goes on and on. You have taught me many, many things. You even taught me about politics and how both crazy and crooked that they can be. You taught me how to be a leader and not to be a follower. Not to be afraid to cut my own path in life. You have been the most influential man in my life. You've never turned your back on me and always stood beside me. You have always had faith and believed in me. All I can say is thank you. I can never repay you for all the lessons that you have taught me or the help and the favors that you have given me or the sacrifices that you've made for me. 
Many times I have been grateful and never told you. I just wanted to make sure that you knew all these things. Thank you again for everything that you have done to make me a man and all the stuff that you have taught me. I love you very, very much, and I want you to know that I'm very proud of you and the man that you are. I love you more than you will ever know. Clay. All right, guys, as you seen, it only took about five minutes to make that video, so it's not like a whole lot of time. I know we're all busy, and we got a lot of stuff going on in our life, and uh, you know everybody thinks they're too busy for something, but this is one thing that you guys need to do that you won't regret if you still have that opportunity. Thankfully for me, I was able to do it. I was able to let my dad read it. Um, don't keep putting it off because you never know what tomorrow will bring. This is going to be something that you're going to regret if you don't. Um, I kind of missed that opportunity with my grandmother, and I had an uncle the same way. And both of them was very close to me, and I wish that I had that chance. So, you guys, please, please take that time, and you know, it, it, write a letter if you can't. It's it's hard to talk to somebody I know about that stuff. So, write it in a letter, and give it to them. But anyway, you guys have a great one. I promise you, if you do this, you won't regret it.